Please, my dad is making it hurt. Hi guys, welcome back to the second patch of this 2020 uh, October November winter paper. You can see here uh, on the top of the question paper, uh, it's a winter paper 2020 paper 2. Fine, it's a paper 2 and it's continuation uh, after doing from these questions from 18 C database uh, topic from 18 to 21. Uh, that that's there in the part one and uh, from 20. Second 22 onwards, it is in part 2. Enter the following details as a new record in the score table. Okay, in the score table because there that's the biggest table, I guess. Yeah, this is done. Okay, now just close, save once, final time, and just close. Now we have to open score table and they want us uh, to just enter. A new record look at this here we have uh, all together the records to uh, sorry uh, 772 772 so the new record we're going to enter as a as what 773 fine let's do that flater sorry the same EPE 12 as it is capital small letters HV4 um, 4.052 4 Are we going to set the places over here to see if we didn't get the decimal places? We didn't get the decimal places. Okay, we'll set that once again. Our uh, position is at 2. Uh, score 125, 14, 76. 125 1476 FE category code and 15 distance okay just we have to work on this look at that here uh this just go to a table fields and number the general just open general number um, see here increase the uh, decimal places over here two okay save the work and you see there now the number of records are 773 right 773 so our new record is added uh, perfectly check your data errors and see okay now we're going to start the report one report two reports okay find our two reports okay now let's going to uh, we're going to do those these two uh, reports here itself in this session Okay, using fields from all tables, three tables, produce a table or report that, uh, here, we have to come down to this and just let me prepare the query first, save and close. Now, let's go for what? Create uh, query design. All three, one, second one and the third one as well close uh, 
ಹಾಗೆ ಇಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ the question last name uh, first name gender okay let me take those three last name where is the la last name last name first name and where is gender gender is over here okay uh, age race number age age uh race number where is race number race number is here race number and uh, kilometer are distance kilometer 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 are and distance in kilometers then a club name position club name where is the club name club code sorry club name club name here uh then club name position total time where is the position club position here just position and uh, the last one is total time total time is a new field i guess right total time is a new field okay let's see that uh what is that about total time see here contains a new field called total time which is calculated at run time this field will multiply the uh, kilometer hour by distance kilometer and divided by this by 1440 format this field to uh, to display time as uh, this format okay now total time to see the spelling clearly and type in there as it is here uh, as a new field over here total underscore time uh, dots two dots then we're going to work on the formula what is their formula uh, kilometers are by means multiplication of these two okay multiplication of these two uh, let's open square bracket km underscore uh, what is the what's the name underscore r okay r close the square bracket multiplied by multiply by distance in kilometers again open square bracket this distance underscore km close the square bracket okay now this is this one is totally divided by uh, 1440 okay see how's the equation there uh, so this field will multiply these two and divided this by 440 so what uh, we can do just we can just put it in you know it's like a board mass right board mass okay keep it in the bracket just save the uh, the query q uh, what's the equation number 23 okay to save and just run it once it's really big number look at that and yeah they told us to reduce that format formatting will do formatting will do what is the formatting there uh field to display time it's actually it's a time fine so let's go to design and just select this and go to format uh here we will type in h h uh colon mm mm colon ss so hours minutes and seconds fine okay it's done uh hours minutes is the same yeah minutes save okay save and just let's run and check how it is appearing yeah see that it's in time format okay are oh, the spelling something is wrong spelling See, there's one. 
extra letter save okay this is done next uh, first this point and this point uh, both are done now select the records where club club name includes the text mtb includes the text okay if you see uh, in the club name just run this where is the club name here is the club name okay all the names are uh, are there but only mtb having mtb we want only those records now you see 773 records after setting this condition let's see how many records will be left a uh, club name or there where is club name here is just for uh, having any uh, one word in a whole uh, value we will use what the star first double quotes star m t b capitals then close the star then close double quotes press enter save and just run this can you see see it reduced to 102 and in every value you see there is mtb something value fine now let's go to the next uh, age is 20 or more age is 20 or more i guess this you can set where is age age over here uh, more than or equal to 20 more than or equal to 20 uh, now you see for the reduced to 64 uh, age age yeah this is age now next question uh, distance kilometers 50 or 75 any two fine distance in kilometers distance in uh, kilometers here uh, 50 or 75 only oh. 75 only fine just save and just run uh, distance here see you see only those two records it's reduced to for the 40 see now total records are 40 for us hmm? next these three are done uh, in this order, okay. Now we have to go for the report. See from here onwards, it's a report part. Uh, so save this work and just close save and close. Okay, now create report wizard. Query 23 is the one we are working on. Uh, next, next of three fields. Okay, now any uh, any uh, we think we have sort of data in ascending order of club name, ascending order of position ascending order of club name club name and again ascending order of ascending order of position uh, position is a person next now what else uh, has a landscape and fits on single landscape over here and fits on single okay now we are here uh, Includes only the text MTB Marathon results as a title at the top of the page formatted so that it displays. Uh, so this one will add it later, uh, but just will add only the uh, the heading or the title. Uh, MTB Marathon results. It is okay. Here we are going to type MTB Marathon. results okay uh, cl click this modify finish here is the one yeah they told us to just modify this as what 30 point serif style with all letters fully visible okay black as well it is now let's see, see that uh, home uh, here is the one 30 they want 30 is not there just enter 33 zero okay and after this uh, the uh, sensor font we have Microsoft sensor fine we'll go for Microsoft here is the one and it should be the black one black fine and just uh, widen this to see all the contents here down as well okay now it's clear okay all this uh, stuff is set 
even from here onwards okay has your name center number uh, uh, in the footer of the report now let's see how it's appearing actually in the uh, layout uh, save and just go to go to layout we are uh, we have to adjust a little bit all this see there how they are uh, here we have to find one then just let me move this H bring it here race number something uh, here is some kilometer total time yeah now it's fine okay save and we are going to add our details in the footer design where is the footer uh, here is the footer this is the footer okay just go to report design and uh, a label place it over here just add your all the details like this uh, then uh, candidate number okay just save the work and you can even just highlight it to just visible okay then let's have a final view on this or we can just directly go for the report view the one we're gonna print it yes here are our details fine it's done now a piece screenshot uh, that you have entered yes we did it okay this everything is done now we have a second uh, report that let's go for by taking the second uh, query okay create uh, query design now what else uh, table they want uh, using uh, fields from score and club okay score and club only these two okay so let me take only score that's it okay now next uh, position shows only six fields position first name last name position uh, where is the position position first name then last name, uh, club name, country, club name, then country, uh, distance in kilometers, distance in kilometers, distance, where is that? Yeah. Now, in this order, and data labels are clearly displayed. Okay, fine. Now, a few uh, conditions are there. Select the records where position is one now if if you want to see how this is appearing let's save it as a, a question uh, the query 24 i guess uh hope so and just run this and see here you see all the records if you go to the last records the 773 records are there okay so now we're gonna uh condition it so that it will reduce uh, a lot uh first what is the first condition position is just one where is the position position is just number one okay they don't want anything or just only one look at that now how many records are there 42 just 42 only having position number one people right now next one country does not include Kent okay not Kent 
fine. It's not Kent. Uh, country. Go to uh, design. Where is the country? Country. So just type in not K E N T Kent. Okay. Save and just run. Uh, the country see and now it's 35 okay there is no Kent at all okay this is all done uh, this is a report part now let's let's go for that to save and close this create a report wizard and creation uh, the query 24 we are picking right now we are working on now what is the uh, so it's descending order of country descending and country next uh, portrait and single page portrait and single page now it's winning club members uh, a larger font size fully visible at the top of the page winning club members this is what we're going to enter over here fine uh, winning club members okay now just modify it then we will change this format it uh, in the design view of the report finish yeah here let's just uh, they want it to be visible clearly home uh, will change to around uh, 28 or something okay and i'm gonna just make it black and uh, we can make it bold fine okay now this is appearing clearly now what's next uh calculates average distance and positions it under the distance kilometer column formatted as an integer okay that's just average uh, distance calculation has a label this to this calculation okay now first do the calculation over there uh just save and uh, let's see in layout into anything uh, we need to adjust here see a little bit we have to adjust uh let's see a bit over here okay and here is the one Just let's move this to have evenly arranged all the details. Here it's actually longer one, the name. It's uh, average we have to calculate distance kilometers. Okay, then save the work and let's go now uh, to, to design. Where is, this is a distance, right? What's, what we have to calculate? Average distance, average distance. Okay, let's calculate average distance. Select this this one and just pull it down a little bit. Uh, here, where is that? Select this one, right? Report to design. Okay, we have to go here. Uh, totals average. See, you see over here. Average distance. Uh, kilometers. And we have to add one label there. Select. And just drag there. And what we are supposed to type. Average race distance. average race distance okay and we can just uh, format them uh, to look 18 no, it's too big 14 then we can just make it bold okay save then just check in layout See that, and we have to uh, make it an integer, right? 
Okay, fine. Let's go back. Design. Select and pull it down. Uh, this one, we have to just make it property sheet. And this, they want it uh, as an integer in the other format. Okay, just take it fixed. Fixed. Okay. Save. Then just home and check in layout. See that. An integer, right? Sorry. They don't want any decimal places. Home. View. Design. Double click there. Property sheet format fixed auto, no auto, just put it to zero. Okay, done. Uh, no, we have to go for layout. See that, just number 51, and just I have to put it to circus. <coughs> Sorry. Okay, perfect. Done. Now, what else we have? Has your name, center number, and all uh, on the report? Somewhere on the report. Okay, this all done. On the report, we have to take it. Go to design. Uh, let's place it in the top. Better place it in the top. Okay, go to design. Uh, label. And here you can place your details. Okay. Center and your candidate number. <laughs> to highlight it as well, just highlight this. Make it bold and 12. Okay, now final report view. <coughs> so it's just a uh, Clearly visible. Now the report view. Yeah, these are the ones, right? Perfect. Okay, done. Anything more? Print tabs. Oh yeah, there is evidence of this formula. We have to show the average formula, right? Average distance. Okay. And uh, let's just take a screenshot of design. This one. Okay. Uh, design. Then we have to go press print screen. Then just pick from there and highlight it. Okay, then copy. Then what is it? Where is the number? Evidence eight. We have to go there. Evidence. What is it? seven? Evidence. We missed out. Okay, there's a one. Let me just check. Oh, sorry, sorry. I'm I'm not gonna say it. What is it? Twenty-four. Step twenty-four. Uh, step twenty-four. Uh, here the formula. Fine form. Oh, it's a seven. I just placed an eight. Sorry. to place it here okay save now this whole thing is done last question is left now export the report uh, created in step 24 uh, in a pro in portable document format PDF uh, save the export file as an appropriate file name in your work area and place this evidence to us of this in the folder we have to show it in our folder okay uh, this is done save save and just close this now what we created in step 24 uh, what they want report they want okay now what is this is the one right right click export as a PDF fine export as a PDF 
and where we're going to save it see our october november file can you see the folder and uh, just make sure that it's a pdf it will be uh, opening like this but uh, they, we had showed that in the uh, folder uh, in our work area okay just let's close this save and go to your folder here it's coming over here you see there and just uh, widen the columns to just show it's it's uh, the extension uh, the type file file type okay now let's go for the print screen take from the beginning so that they can see your your folder where you have saved it and uh, this is the one here I'm gonna just highlight it okay and the the file type they can see over here PDF okay save and come to the evidence file and place it there okay this is end of your uh, access second part fine over yeah this many files we have created just have a look at this three tables two queries and the highs there it's a uh, reports okay thank you thank you